As I promised, we have a larger view of the adrenal gland over here, uh, left side of the frame. Uh, and now we see it cut through, so we can see the two different main sections here. The adrenal cortex is this outer bit right here, and the adrenal medulla is this middle bit right here. The medulla produces two hormones that you're probably familiar with, at least one of them, epinephrine and norepinephrine. They used to be called adrenaline and noradrenaline. So epinephrine and norepinephrine are the preferred terms here. And these guys regulate your uh, fight or flight response and your sympathetic nervous system in general. Or I should say they respond to your sympathetic nervous system. Now the cortex isn't broken up in this view into its three zones, but I'm going to talk about them and then when we when I show you when I have photographs of slides I'll be able to identify the different zones for you better. So there's three different zones. They're called zona glomerulosa, which is on the outside here, the zona fasciculata, which is in the middle, and the zona reticularis, which is on the inside. So G zona glomerulo, glomerulosa, uh, fasciculata, lata, man, and uh, and uh, reticularis, so GFR from outside in. And they primarily produce uh, respectively mineralocorticoids such as aldosterone, which control um, uh, ion levels in your blood, like monitor uh, urine, urine output of, of ions. The zona fasciculata here in the middle produces mostly glucocorticoids, um, I'm sorry, yes, correct, glucocorticoids, for instance, uh, cortisol, which is gonna modulate uh, blood sugar levels. And lastly, the reticularis on the inside here, which produce, uh, which produces gonadocorticoids um, and act as weak uh, androgens. So this is an alternate source of uh, sex hormones. You can get that from your, uh, your adrenal gland.